Except referee Jack Reese. Same referee who turned around in Carson last fall. Since then, Golovkin went to, to open up and fire some heavy shots. And there's a hard right hand. Every top fighter who's come up through the ranks and fought Darnell Boone has either lost or near... Yeah, both guys have landed some pretty good punches. Shots without wasting much energy, turning his shoulder. Good defense and great... He's not only heavy-handed, he's skillful and precise. Time. The biggest problem Marlo has is he hasn't hit Golovkin with anything like the practice. And when he can have free range target practice, that's what happens. Down goes the run. He dropped him in the corner. He can have free range target practice at you because he's going to catch you sooner or later. And Monroe's still really on his feet, and Golovkin won't get him room to think. Cosby keeping the pressure on. Down goes Monroe for the count artists, and they're seeing them. Lovkin's got 46 seconds left oh. in the round. Oh, good. And Gennady shakes it off and comes back. Right hand. Left hand. Willie Monroe gets a momentary edge there as Jack Reese warned on the low blows. Time, and time, time, head stays up and his like hands that. go down. Yeah, he counters the, the right hook from Monroe, Monroe with the trying to pit a pat with a banger when you already see that the banger can put you down. You have to make him respect you. You're going to hit me, I'm going to hit you back at least. And you got to watch that left hook from Triple G because Triple G trying to set it up again. Hurt him. And he may be right about that. We know the love Daniel Gill while getting hit in the mouth with the right hand. Took a couple of punches from Rubio and Curtis Stevens. Great right hand landed for Gennady. Another straight right hand lands for Gennady. Leaping in. The movement is not working for you. Stop moving and fight. So, you know, that gives him a real big lead on the scorecards. He is huge. It's a very big ring. Willie's got a lot of room to move if he's on the ropes and in the corner. Although Roy, as you said, now that he's bunkered down and started to have that room to work with, make it tough for him. The minor upset already that Monroe. You throw those little punches, as we saw against Daniel Gill. Oh, the Nader will walk through those little punches. Those are big shots, Monroe has. You got to feel those shots Monroe just laid on Golovkin. Oh, he felt them, but Monroe has to throw. More. This is quite an effort, Willie Monroe. Is putting forth here in round number four. Unreal. Into those big punches. He may not make it through the rest of the fight, but he certainly earned Guys, the Lovkin respect. The headshots with real stuff on him. Well, he's only got six knockouts. Chance, a chance to really prove it. Round four was a Herculean to Willie Monroe. I agree with Harold. I mean, oh, upper academic, but. Oh. oh. Hook how the top of the hurt head hurt really bad, Jim. Hunt, he gets caught every time. You can't let Golovkin just stalk you and hunt. And Golovkin once again motioning to him like, come on, come on, keep firing. You know, I might know that he didn't count it back. There was another one. Good one-two combination from Monroe. Because Golovkin is just as tired as he is. Abel Sanchez wants more act. Now he gets in two body shots. This is where Golovkin has done damage before. Hard shot by Monroe. That's a shot that often does damage for him. Mark Monroe, about half as many. 56 rounds oh, again. Hurt him with a right hook. Right up cut hurt him really Great bad, John. Right hurt him really bad, and the hook just hurt him even worse. He's out of here. Third knockdown. Next you want to continue? His legs are gone. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Willie Monroe. Sixth round technical knockout for Gennady Golovkin. Gennady Triple G.